All right, I admit it. I made a mistake. I regret it. I do regret it a lot. The moment that I heard the music. Oh, I knew. And when I reinstalled. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for sitting. Blue Archive, the one game that I regret dropping out of all of the gacha games that I have played so far. When anybody asks me for like a recommendation of oh, what gacha game should I play, more often than not, it's Blue Archive. I think that this game, this original IP, is probably one of the best on the market right now. I've played what? Epic 7, Punishing Grey Raven, Honkai Impact 3rd, Arknights, Guardian Tales, Nikke, la 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 la, we get it, Papa Lace. You play a lot of gacha games. You're a degenerate. Out of all of these games, it's Blue Archive that I miss the most. Uh -huh. And if you are a Blue Archive enjoyer, you'll probably have a pretty good idea as to why. That first clip I showed, that was the PV for the final arc of the main story. But I know what you're thinking, Papa Lace, you don't even read the story. Ha! I will have you mongrels know that I have evolved into somebody that reads Blue Archive story and Precon story. Uh, as for the other games, I'm still working on those ones, okay? <laughs> and before we go any further, this video is not sponsored. Yes, I used to be sponsored by Blue Archive, but this is 100% my own opinion. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about why exactly I like Blue Archive so much, with an emphasis on what I call the soul, but also some more psychological aspects for me in terms of gacha games. Honestly, I'd really like your opinion on both of these aspects, especially the psychological one because sometimes uh, I don't know just tell me what you think and so after watching that PV about six more times I went out to look for a little bit more information in terms of what's going on in blue archive here's what I found probably by the time that this video drops all of these are gonna be active the most broken character in the game going to be available I suspect they're referring to summer Hoshino two times the pull rate which is very much like your festival type from grand blue Dragalia uh, side games like games then a hundred freaking free rolls a whole month of three times drop rates and more rewards thanks to pre-registration. BA enjoys eating good, eating very, very freaking good. And so my guys, I think now is a pretty good time to actually pick the game up. Now, why exactly do I praise this game so hard? I mean, if you like schoolgirls, then... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Let's, let's really, let's, let's not go there. In all seriousness, I do want to start off by discussing something that I think is one of the most important things to gacha games. That is the soul. Huh? Tamashi? There are a lot of games, and I'm not talking exclusively gacha games, that have a lot of characters, a lot of story, lore, music, uh, all of this feeling built around them. As a result of building all of these different things, you get people invested in all of these things, right? And as a byproduct, you get things like fan art, cosplay, you get memes, you get culture, you get doujinshi, okay? It begins to feel like the game is not just about the game anymore. It's about the IP. For example, Arknights. I've quit it for quite a long time now, but I'm still a massive fan of Penguin Logistics, Nian, Eya Fiala, Honkai Impact, Kiana Megasimp, right here. Genshin Impact. Everyone wants to protect the little Nahida. Just look at this character trailer. It's this kind of reaction, these kinds of feelings that make us go from just liking a game to really loving the game. No, not the game, the IP. And at this point, it's not about the game anymore. And so I do think that the games, the companies who invest a lot into that soul, those games or IP are gonna do really well long term. Certainly, it's not the only thing that matters, but I would say that it's probably one of the biggest things. I would say that Blue Archive has soul, an incredible amount of soul. From the promotional videos, to the mangas, to the micro interactions, to even just those small little comics on the Twitter, to an extremely well-written story, Nexon Games. Nexon has successfully crafted a very strong original IP. As a result, you can see that the subreddit is booming with an insane amount of fan art. Pixiv has 122k entries tagged against it. Even for the more yikes stuff over at nh.net, there are almost 1,000 doujins. Like, compare that to your normal gacha games. That, that's a lot, man. I'm just saying. The last interesting thing to note is that it is one of the only gacha games that is able to maintain a consistent player base and even some level of growth. A lot of games normally drop off after launch, but this one is actually growing not only in the user base, but also in revenue. And on top of that, 
What's even more interesting is that the global interest sometimes exceeds that of the Japanese. And so what exactly happens if a game has no soul? Well, to begin with, it feels a lot more empty because without all of those like loving feelings, the game is going to rely a lot more about the game aspects, whether it's fantastic gameplay or um, open world, <laughs> I don't know, man. maybe quality of life or generosity, uh, all of these kinds of aspects rather than the IP itself. If executed correctly, you could make this work, but for the majority of players, especially the casual players, the ones that are less about min-maxing and doing the most damage, and more about like maxing out their characters and being able to play with them, they unfortunately don't really feel a connection anymore. And so there are a lot of games that actually come to mind when I think about which games don't have a soul. So <laughs> let me know down in the comments below which games you think are lacking soul. And so the next thing about Blue Archive that I do want to bring up is that it always feels like the devs are on our side. They're constantly banning hackers. They brought over the 200 spark system from JP down from 300 on launch. There was an account deletion button to assist with re-rolling. They're even maintaining two versions of the game, a teen version and a 17 plus version. I actually cannot remember a single time, a single major negative event aside from that VTuber incident. Yeah, some parts of the game are probably more contentious than the others. The more uh, cultured aspects, I guess, with the war, corrections, whatever you want to call it. But at the end of the day, Nexon, Nexon has built an extremely strong, lovable IP. Actually, whoa, we'll come back to that epiphany. We've got a diverse cast, ranging from a little Stalin lookalike with fake mustaches to chocolate bunnies to very pale girls in wheelchairs. We've got a well-crafted story, starting with what seems like a bunch of cute girls doing cute things and eventually leading to darker themes such as murder, mind break, depression, and extreme bullying. And so I know that I spent the majority of this video talking about a whole bunch of different concepts that you probably would never think about in terms of gacha games. But I do want to finish off by saying that it is actually just a really good game overall. The gameplay is actually really fun with a decent auto mode and potential for outplays via manual. It's got a lot of great cure well, such as skips in virtually every game mode within reason. So like maybe you do one raid hit a day, skip the rest. You've got standardized gear so you don't have to spend six months rolling for, I don't know, some speed set. A very, very low maintenance base system, which is always really nice. And a lot of premium currency. I remember when I was still playing, I think we'll get it, I, I can't even remember, it was like one spark every month or two or something. The thing that really stands out to me though is that all of these things, plus the general vibe created by like the character, the micro interactions, as well as the music, especially the music, it really makes for a memorable experience. And so speaking of the music, after having left the game for a couple of months, I had actually forgotten a lot about the game. But oh my lord, the moment the music hit, whew, it was Nostalgia City. The only, only other time that I have ever had this feeling was from another game, an older MMORPG called Maple Story, which is coincidentally also made by Nexon. Hence the epiphany. When those tracks come on, oh my god, it just takes me back. You can have a look through every single MapleStory OST video and there are going to be thousands of people reminiscing about this game. And so what about me? Where does that place me? I've already quit the game. <sighs> This is the psychological part. The reason that I quit this game was because of my time struggles at the time. I unfortunately had to give up some gachas and at the time, Blue Archive was the one that was slightly taking a little bit too much time. I was also letting it slip, like missing dailies, uh, missing raids, missing events. It's kind of like, you know when it's about time to go. I think that might've also been the time where I went really hard on Tower of Fantasy. Just looking for something to blame. <laughs> and so I quit Blue Archive all of those months ago. And this might be the first time that I actually crawl back to a gacha game. Hence the next, even more psychological bit. I have an issue that I really, really struggle with, especially with gacha games. It's called, once I leave a game, I can't come back, itis. I think it's also a form of FOMO. In the months that I'd left the game, I've missed a whole bunch of raid trophies, as you can see from my collection, as well as things like exclusive characters or exclusive furniture. And so yeah, the unfortunate fact is that I am a collector and having missed all of those things severely cripples me, mentally. But my regret from dropping this game, as well as my love for the IP, it's actually making me consider, like I said, crawling back. This is the part that I'm really struggling with. You guys need to let me know what you would do in this scenario. I hope you can understand where I'm coming from. And so my guys, I am gonna leave the video there. This is a different format. Let me know if you actually enjoyed it or not, but you already know the drill. Like, subscribe, 
notification bells. And so, as all good things must come to an end, my name is Lace. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.